In this video we're going to see how to take mathematical text and display it on a separate line so that it's on its own line and in the middle of that line. And to illustrate this we're going to use the, the document from the previous video where we've already talked about the quadratic formula. So that's the formula that we will display. So let me just write an introductory sentence to that. This is shown below. And now I'm ready to put in the display mathematics. There are three ways of doing this that I'm going to show you, two of which are exactly equivalent to one another in terms of the output, and the third that is a little bit different. Um, the first two ways of doing a display formula are to type the mathematical text in between two dollar signs and that is the partner of the method of inline text. But also you can insert the mathematical text in between a backslash open square bracket and a backslash close square bracket. Both of those will produce identical output. The third method is to type the mathematical text in between a begin equation and an end equation. That will be a little bit different in that it will give you an equation number. So first of all, let me start off with the double dollars. So type double dollars. Then I'm ready to type my mathematical text. I'll then close off with another double dollars. I like though not to do all of that in one line. I like to do the double dollars then put a space, well sorry start a new line and type the mathematical text now and then do the closing double dollars on another line. This reminds me when I'm looking at the, la the LaTeX commands here that this is meant to be displayed and not within the sentence. So anyway, well, I need to write the mathematical formula. The quadratic formula is a large fraction, so I need to bring up, well, instruct LaTeX to construct a fraction for me. The command for that is backslash frac. Now I happen to remember that. That's not reasonable to expect you to, so there are lots of places you go to look for these commands. First of all, notice some symbols up here including a fraction and if we wave the mouse over that it gives us a helpful hint here that's backslash frac and two sets of braces. There's another fraction here with slightly bigger numbers called defrac. Don't worry about that, we'll talk about display fractions later. We, we'll be fine with backslash frac. The other place to look for hints within Tech Studio are um, under the math menu that contains a lot of um, helpful mathematical uh, commands, including lots of sub-menus, by the way. And the other place will be to go to the links that are on the Google site. They'll take you to documents and, and wiki books that explain all of this in a lot more detail. So, I know I need a fraction, so I'm going to type backslash frac oh, frac, and as Tech Studio is helping me here, it's telling me that I have to have two sets of braces and in the first set I type the numerator and in the second set I type the denominator. I'm just going to open up the bracket. I could press enter and that will come up. But I will now type the numerator of the quadratic formula which is take minus b. Notice um, Tech Studio is determined to help me and it's put in the rest of the thing. And after minus b in the numerator of the quadratic formula, what comes next is a plus minus symbol. And I know that that's backslash pm. If you're struggling, if you don't know that off the top of your head, then again you need to go and look in the helps and also within the wiki book and on a cheat sheet. The Google page also has a cheat sheet as well.
for, for all of these latex symbols. The next thing is a square root, and that is up here, notice. So I'm just going to click on that and see what happens. Well, it types in for me backslash uh, SQRT, which is the command for square root, and inside the braces reminds me that I need to put the number there. I'll do tap backspace to get rid of the NUM and type what does go in the square root of the quadratic formula, which is B squared B carat 2, take away 4AC. And that finishes the numerator for me. Now I'm ready to go on to the denominator, so I need to delete this DEN and type in 2A. And that's the quadratic formula typed. So I'm ready to close that off. As I said, I like to do the closing double dollars on a separate line. And now when I go back to look at that, it's clear that that is typed into a separate line. It's meant to appear as a separate line. So just to show you, if you want to use the backslash open square bracket, notice as I do that, Text Studio knows that that has to be closed with a backslash close square bracket and it automatically appears for us. Again, I'm going to separate these so that I can type my mathematics on its own line. And I'm again going to do a fraction and minus b plus a minus square root and the square root is b squared minus 4ac close the square root and close the top of the fraction open the bottom of the fraction it's 2a um, and Tech Studio has done the close brace for me and I notice I've misspelled fraction there, so I'm going to click and correct that. There we go. Now, the final method I'm going to demonstrate is to use an environment, the equation environment. Environments start with begin, and it's the equation that I want. Close the square bracket. And when I press enter, Tech Studio knows that all begins should be paired up with an equivalent end, and so it types it for me and tells me where I'm supposed to put the content. I'll do backspace to get rid of that um, helpful hint and type my content, which is a fraction. And the numerator of the fraction is minus b plus or minus square root and in inside the square root is b squared minus 4ac close the square root and the fraction is already closed for me the denominator is ready to be typed in and I type in 2a and so now I've done the overkill of typing the quadratic formula three times. And just to remind you, I'm only doing it three times just to demonstrate the three different methods. I'll save my file, and then I will process it by clicking the PDF LaTeX button. I wait for the ex exited normally uh, message to appear, and there it is. And now I'm ready to view it. And there you see the three formulas, each displayed on their own separate line. And the third one, the one that was created with um, the equation environment, has a number on it. Now sometimes what happens is you think originally that you want a particular piece of mathematics to have an equation number. And then later on, as you re-edit, you decide that this, this really isn't necessary and it's a distraction to the reader and you want to remove it. Well, the simplest way to do that, rather than replace begin equation with a, a, an open square bracket, would be to just put a star after the N of equation. And if I do that, notice after I press enter, well, that's a little bit strange. Usually the end equation automatically updates, and it hasn't now, but I'll just do it. Okay, so I put a star um, next to the word equation, and now 
what will happen is the equation number will be removed. So I'll reprocess. There it is. View. And we'll see three equations now. Yeah, when I scroll up and look for them. Uh, I see three equations, none of which have equation numbers. And that's how you create text on its own line.